We're going to get you set up so that you're ready to take the Code Hub's live coding sessions. All you really need is an iPad, this course that you can watch on YouTube or on Twitch live. Optionally, you can have the Everyone Can Code Puzzles book from the bookstore. That's not necessary, but it's handy to follow along when you're when you get stuck at home working through some of these exercises. So the first thing we're going to do is go off to the App Store to get Swift Playgrounds, which is a free app for the iPad from Apple. You can also download it on the Mac, but we're going to focus on the iPad for now. So we'll go search for Swift Playgrounds. You can tap on the autocomplete there. All right, and we can get Swift Playgrounds just by tapping on the Get button. Like I said, it's free. If this is your first time using the iPad, you may have to log in with your Apple ID or create an Apple ID, which again is free. You may have to give a bit more extra information to the, the store, but you don't have to enter in a payment method. So we'll see that Swift Playgrounds is downloading there. So while that's going on, we'll go off to the bookstore and get the Everyone Can Code Puzzles material. So if we tap on the books application, and we tap on the search tab. We're going to type in everyone can code. Okay, so we have a few options here. So what I'm going to get is the everyone can code puzzles book. We'll tap on the get button. Confirm that. And this book is going to download to our library. So if we go look at the library tab, we'll see that that book is downloading. Let's go check out Swift Playgrounds. Well, it probably have appeared here nearly. Good timing. So if we tap on Swift Playgrounds, this is what we'll see when we first launch the application. We'll see a bunch of different playgrounds from Apple. We'll see some other sources of playgrounds. During the course of the course, we're going to get you to subscribe to the Code Hub's playground feed, where you'll be able to get playgrounds that explore Turtle graphics, some beginning coding concepts, and text adventures, and more advanced things as we go on and on. The very first thing we're going to get, though, is this Learn to Code 1 playground. So we'll tap the Get button. And now we'll start downloading. So while that's downloading, let's tap on the home button and go back to our books application. And now we can tap on everyone can code puzzles. And you can see, I even have the teacher guide next to it, but I'm just going to tap on my new everyone can code puzzles book. And this is the material that we'll be going through. With day one, we go through commands and we learn what commands are and how Swift runs code that we write. Uh, and then we'll get into other chapters like functions, for loops, variables, conditional code, and so on. The goal of this course is to work through this entire book and get you familiar with coding concepts. And then we'll start building on that as we keep going deeper and deeper into coding and, and building your understanding and practicing a bit of code. So that should be it. You should be off and ready to go. If we go back to our Swift Playgrounds, Learn to Code is almost downloaded. You'll also need Learn to Code 2 during the course of the Everyone Can Code puzzles and a few of the other templates from Apple. So we're going to launch Learn to Code 1 and it'll bring us to the introduction the first time we launched the Playground. And this will explain to us a little bit about commands, the very first chapter in this particular playground book. Um, here you can see, if you tap on the introduction title at the top, that we've got a whole table of contents of all the different playground chapters and playground pages inside our playground. And this is where we're going to spend the majority of this course, is working through the exercises in these playgrounds. And it's worth getting multiple copies of these playgrounds to download and play around with in your own copy of Swift Playgrounds. Now you should be ready to go with our coding at home with the Code Hub. You can follow along 1 p.m. Irish time on weekdays at twitch.tv slash the Code Hub. Or you can check out the sessions after the fact on our YouTube kids.code playlist. Uh, just search for the Code Hub coding at home. 
Uh, it sounds like a mouthful, but once you get to the playlist, just keep watching that and we'll add sessions as they get recorded uh, and uploaded to YouTube. All right, good luck and uh, we'll see you soon.